Hello my dear students, welcome to Vinita's math channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the solutions for the model question paper which is being uploaded in the VTU official website. Here I am discussing about the solutions for the question 3a, 3b and 3c. Okay, so now let us take the question number 3a. The difference between the latches and the flip-flops. So, to tell the differentiation or the difference between these two, I have made the two columns. Okay, here the latches and about the flip-flops. Latches are nothing but these are the building blocks of the sequential circuits. Whereas the flip-flops, these are also the building blocks of the sequential circuits. These latches can be built by using the logic gates. Whereas this flip-flops can be built from the latches itself. Okay, so for to prepare this we need a logic gate to prepare flip flop we need a latches fine next the latches are continuously checks the inputs and changes the output correspondingly whenever there is a changes in the input the output will be changed accordingly but in the flip flop even it changes it checks its input and the changes its output will be based upon only the clocking signal okay it will be changes its output based upon the times determined by the clocking signal right and then here the flip flops sorry the latches these are based on the enable function input whereas this this works on the clock pulses here i told no it works on the clock pulses next the fourth difference is the latches are the level triggered whereas the flip flops are edge triggered next mention some latches examples of latches you know d latch sr latch okay here the examples are jk flip flop sr flip flop t flip flop okay you can write any number of examples then if you have time just mention a simple block diagram of each okay this completes the solution for the 3a next question is 3b explain the working of a 4 bit adder using a 4 bit adders so i have taken this question here they are asking us to uh, explain the working of 4 bit adders okay using four full adders these are 4 bit adders okay we have used the 4 bit full four sorry four full adders these each adder is used to add a single bit of information fine okay this is one full adder second full adder third full adder fourth full adder while writing in an exam write this block diagram then explain few lines about this block diagram okay meaning in this block diagram or in this uh, figure the fa1 FA2, FA3, sorry, FA4. These are the four full adders. The inputs for these full adders are A0, B0, and this C0 is the carry that has been taken from the last stage. Okay, for this, the outputs are S0 and S1. Similarly, for the second full adder, A1, B1, and C1 are the inputs. C1 is the carry out of this FA1 and it will be used as an carry in for this FA2 and the output of this FA2 will be S1 and C2 so on you explain each and everything okay and then you also write the expression of sum and carry okay the expression for sum is AI XOR BI XOR CI okay I stands for here 0 or it may be 1 or it may be 2 if we are talking about the full ladder 1 it is I not B not C not okay so for full ladder 1 A0 X or B0 X or C0 for carry it is AB plus BC plus CA okay so I varies from 0 1 2 3 for first block it is 0 for second full ladder it is 1 for third it is two for fourth it is three okay so you have to write this expression 
and then after explaining about this block diagram after explaining about this block diagram what we need to do is take one example okay see i have taken here and then add this and explain it in one stanza okay here i have considered the c naught as zero see here in this figure c naught this c naught i have considered it as zero if i compare these values with this block diagram this is the data for a this is the data with respect to b so this is a naught this is b naught this is a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 so we will add this we will add all this okay so 0 plus 1 it is 1 1 plus 0 it is 1 okay there is no carry no carry meaning c1 is 0 c1 is 0 and whatever the output s0 we got is 1 okay since there is no carry c0 sorry c1 will be equal to 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 it is 2 or or else i can say it is 1 0 in binary so it is 0 and then carry will be 1 okay that c2 carry is 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 0 carry is 1 1 plus 1 0 with a carry 1 0 plus 0 0 we had a carry 1 okay that carry is this one this is nothing but this is c4 okay you explain like this so this completes the answer or the solution for the question number 3b next question is third c implement y of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to summation m 0 1 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 14 using 16 to 1 multiplexer and 8 to 1 multiplexer so in this question there is two sub questions okay we have to implement this given expression using 16 is to 1 multiplexer as well as by using a 8 is to 1 multiplexer fine okay since they have given this expression okay what i have to do how many inputs they have given they have given the four inputs a b c d so i have prepared a truth table the inputs are a b c d since there are four inputs i will get two powers four that is 16 various combinations as my inputs okay so i have written from all zeros till the all ones okay now to write the output f since it is a summation i have to write the one in the values whatever there here okay so let me write the equivalent values first this side the equivalent values of this 0 0 0 0 is this is 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 fine now what i supposed to write is here there is 0 so when i when i am having a cell number here or a binary equivalent i have to write the one in that block okay so here i am having zero so in that place see here zero 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 meaning it is the decimal equivalent of zero so for zero i am writing one and for one yeah one and then i am having six okay so go to the six decimal value and write one next for seven it is one for eight one for nine one ten 11 12 next is 14 okay i wrote the ones in the places where the numbers is being given okay in the rest of the places what i have to write i have to fill the other entries of the output as zero okay understood so this completes our truth table for the given function next step is first let me show you how to design this using a 16 to 1 multiplexer okay okay to design the given uh, problem using a 16 is to 1 multiplexer first i have drawn 
the 16 is to 1 multiplexer okay meaning my multiplexer has a 16 inputs which starts from i0 till i15 okay 1 to 15 it is 15 input plus i0 that is 16 inputs next the output we are having one output and for this this is actually it is in the form of 2 power n is to 1 where n is the number of select lines okay n is nothing but number of select lines 16 this can be written as 2 power 4 okay 2 power 4 in your examination please don't uh, write these values inside the uh, this block diagram okay so whatever i had written before that's supposed to be there please don't write inside the diagram so how many number of n or select lines i need in this uh, 16 is to 1 max i need four select lines so i have a four select lines s0 s1 s2 and s3 so these four select lines write this in an order see here this is a lsb okay this is msb in our problem this is d is lsb okay d is lsb and a is msb so write it in the same order that is connect this s3 to a connect this s2 to b this is c and this to d okay so connect in a select line is over next so whenever we are having for example whenever i am having 0 0 0 0 in my select lines 0 0 0 0 in my select lines the i naught will be selected okay the i naught will be selected and whatever there in i naught that will be the output okay so what i want in my output when the input is 0 0 0 0 i want one in my output right so what i have to write here i have to write one okay similarly when the input is 0 0 0 1 i want one so whenever my select line is 0 0 0 1 i want one in the output so when 0 0 0 1 is there the select lines my i1 will be selected okay so what is the value of i1 it has to be there i1 it must be 1 okay so if i1 is 1 then it will be uh, taken as an output fine so it is nothing but write these values in the order here that's it so 1 1 next it is 0 okay next 0 4 sorry it is 0 okay next i5 it is 0 it is 0 next i6 it is 1 1 next i8 is 1 i9 is 1 i10 is 1 i11 is 1 i12 is 1 it is 0 1 0 okay this completes the implementation of the given expression by using the uh, 16 is to 1 multiplexer now we will look into the implementation of the same problem by using 8 is to 1 multiplexer okay for 8 is to 1 multiplexer we are having this is the uh, circuit diagram or the block diagram of 8 is to 1 multiplexer here we are having three select lines okay and this uh, the solution of this i will explain it in the next video thank you for watching and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and happy learning all the very best for your exams do share this video with your friends